Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we're going to save some time when writing and drafting emails by using something called Gmail templates. So let's get started. First things first, let's open up our Gmail. Now here in Gmail, when I click on Compose, I can start typing up a new email, but I do want to have some templates available. Now these templates can save us a lot of time. For example, currently I'm on a holiday and therefore I'd like to send a response using a template. I don't want to use the out of office replier, which is an auto replier. You can find out more by clicking on that link at the top but I want to send a personalized template that still says I'm on a holiday. Well, you can set that up in the settings of Gmail. First thing you'll do is click on that cogwheel. Here at the top right, we click on the cogwheel and we find all settings. Now the reason we have to do that is because we have to activate our templates. Where do we do that? Well, we find the advanced tab and then the second option there is templates. We have to enable these. Once you click on enable, you're going to save those changes. Your inbox reloads and you now have access to templates. So let's go ahead and create a template for this holiday. We're going to click on compose and we are going to start typing up our template. Okay, so here I have my email now ready to be saved as a template. Dear name, thank you for your email. I'm currently away on holiday, but I will respond to you in regards to topic. Now the word topic will obviously be changed but the rest is all a template. Thank you for your understanding, kind regards, and then my name. Let's say I want to save this as a template. Well, the next step now is to go to those three dots. At the bottom, I click on three dots, and I now have a new option, templates. So let's go ahead and save this draft as a template. We're going to click on save as new template, and we'll call this Christmas holiday. Let's click on save. That's now been saved as a Christmas holiday template. So let's go ahead and delete this. Let's pretend nothing happened and start typing a brand new response or email. Let's say I need to send an email back to someone who's contacted me. I don't want to use the auto responder because I want it personalized. Well, I can go to compose. And before I do anything else, I go to those three dots, templates, and I pull up the Christmas holiday template. Everything is pre-populated in my Compose window, and I can now start changing this. Dear David, thank you for your email. I'm currently away on holiday. We'll respond to you in regards to the upcoming summit after January the 9th. Thank you for your understanding, kind regards, City. And then I can send it off. This saves me a lot of time, and you can use this for many different things. You can use templates for contacting parents. Maybe you're contacting staff, sending out newsletters, or in this scenario, responding to holiday requests or requests that come in during your holidays. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, scroll down and leave a comment to let us know what you are using this for and how you've used templates before. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.